Hey guys, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson. This is my cat tack. And tonight's video is going to be on request review. My very first one. Um, first, I want to give a shout out to everybody that um, sent in their request. And I really like these movies that y'all picked. Um, but I want to tell you that Atomic um, Angie Douthit, Atomic Blonde, I have not seen yet, but I definitely plan to. You will definitely get a video on that. Uh, Greg Hill, um, thank you for Fast Times at Richmond High. Um, that will definitely be on my top 10 favorite comedies. Um, David Massagill, who's uh, suggested Stand By Me, that's definitely going to be on my top 10 coming of age movies. So you're all going to get videos on those movies. So, what did I pick? Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Now, uh, one reason why I picked this movie, for one, I haven't seen it in a long time. Um, and it's a cult classic, you know, people love this movie. This is a B movie, it's, it's not made to be like an Oscar film, it was made for fun. Um, so that's why I respect this film, um, really love it. And they're doing a remake of it. So knowing that news, I, I really thought it'd be enjoyable to watch this. So I stayed up late last night and I watched the movie and I tell you what, I cracked up. It is so funny. You know, this movie is hilarious. And I don't know if you guys know this, it came out in 1988, which is two years before it came out on TV. So this is, people say, you know, that movie made me afraid of clowns. No this movie made people afraid of clowns because <laughs> it is freaky it's it's not scary at all but and the acting is horrendous but it's one of those movies that's so good because it's so bad and and i love it for that aspect of it um the good parts about this movie is that for its time the makeup design was superb i mean top notch makeup design um De definitely uh, directing <laughs> had a, a little falter through um, but it starts uh, Suzanne Snyder and for those of you, you that for those of you who don't know she was the blonde girl in weird science um, and I didn't even realize that till I rewatched it last night and was like oh my god that's her so that was really that was really cool and uh, but overall i really enjoy the film is it you know a perfect 10 no not at all but for what it is and what they were trying to do is just to have fun and uh guys doing the best they can with makeup design and really want to impress and just really make people laugh and have fun and kind of be scared at the same time it i wouldn't say scared i would just say freaked out because if you saw one of these clowns on the side of the road you would be freaked out and like all those clowns that were popping up in South Carolina you know last year you know it's not that this couldn't happen um, but you know they're aliens from outer space they land it's, it's a simple plot they land they come to this town and they just start straight killing people and the way they kill them is is unique to each clown each clown has a certain way of killing people and each way of death is a different way of death and I, I like that aspect of it you know it was it was really funny to me and just the overacting in this movie is hilarious I definitely suggest watching it with somebody because you guys will definitely get a kick out of it but it's not a great film it's not well acted it's it, it doesn't have the best special effects even though for 1988 it was you know pretty good for 1988 standards but guys have you seen killer clowns from outer space are you looking forward to the remake because you know what i am and i'm not really sure if they're going to try to be funny um or if this is going to be more of a serious take because if they did it serious this could be really something special um because i don't think we've gotten anything like that like a real good i mean it's coming out september 6th which i'm going to see and you will get a review on because um, I love the original TV series just clown freaky clowns in general just freak me out and I really think it's because of this movie and not it it enhanced my fear of not fear of clowns but just I just get freaked out by them you know just carnival people in general just weird me out but anyway uh, that being said for what killer clowns from outer space is I'm giving it a nine BAM is it a nine? No. Is it a, you know a film of that high caliber? But for what they try to do and the enjoyment you can get, the nostalgic feeling you can get from watching an old 80s B movie, it's a nine in that respect. 
Um, so that's my rating. That's what I'm giving it. So thanks, Jeremy, for um, that request. So guys, starting a new week. Send me some more requests. I'll pick them out, and I'll see which one I want to watch, and then I'll watch it Thursday and give you the review on next Friday. Thanks, guys, for all the support and everything. Um, having a great time shooting the vids. Hope you're having fun watching them. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, remember, the only thing stopping you is you stopping. Bye!